Hello, and welcome to this video. My name is Diego Parrilla from Cisco Tag Security Team, and today I will guide you through the process of setting up a control plane ACL on Cisco FTD Manage through the FDM. Control plane ACL can be useful to control which peers can establish a VPN tunnel to the secure firewall. For this example, we will configure a control plane ACL to block incoming VPN brute force attacks to the outside FTD interface. Let's get started. First, we need to create an object network. To do this, navigate to the object section within the Firepower Device Manager interface. Locate the left panel and select Networks. To create a new network object, click on the Add button. Enter the details such as name, an IP address, or range to match the traffic that needs to be denied to the FTD. Then, click the OK button to complete it. Next, we need to create an extended ACL. To do this, just go to the Device tab at the top menu. Once you are in the main dashboard, scroll down and select View Configuration from the Advanced Configuration Square. Then, from the left panel, navigate to Smart CLI, Objects, and click Create a Smart CLI Object. Add any name that you wish. In the CLI template option, select Extended Access List to configure the ACEs required by using the network object created in the previous steps. Then, click to the OK button. After that, create a Flex Config object. To do this, navigate to the left panel and click Flex Config, Flex Config Object. Then, select the Create Flex Config Object option. Name the Flex Config object that you prefer and configure the control plane ACL as inbound for the outside interface. Use this syntax in the template. Access group, ACL name, in, interface, interface name, control plane. Just add the no at the beginning of the command in the negate template. No, access group, ACL name, in, interface name, control plane. With this process done, we can proceed to create a flex config policy. To do this, navigate to the flex config, flex config policy, click on the add button, then select the flex config object that was created. Validate that the flex config preview shows the correct configuration for the control plane ACL created. Then click save. Finally, deploy the configuration changes to the FTD by clicking on the deploy button at the top menu. Validate that the configuration is correct, then deploy now, and that's it. You have implemented a control plane ACL in FDM. A few important considerations are a control plane ACL does not restrict SSH, ICMP, or telnet inbound traffic to the firewall interface. These are processed with the platform settings policy and have a higher precedence. The configuration changes may do not apply to the already established connection to the FTD. Unlike a normal ACL, there is not an implicit deny at the end of the ACL. Feel free to contact Cisco support if any additional information is required. Thanks for watching.